every time Houdinki does a collaboration, it sells out instantly, and I always want to jump on it, but it's just too expensive because although their collaborations are awesome, I don't have five, six, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars to spend on a collab piece. But that changed today when Warren and Wound did a collaboration with Ball Tech, one of my favorite micro brands. And guess what? I had enough money to buy it, but I found that too late and they are sold out already. What's going on guys? My name is Anthony and this is Watch With Me. Today we're going to be talking about the new collaboration done with Warren and Wound and Ball Tech watches. Two salmon dial vintage inspired watches, an absolute home run. They killed it with the price point. Before we get into that, of course, a wristwatch check. And today I am wearing one of my own vintage pieces. This is a Pierce chronograph, uh, an in-house made chronograph at that. I don't wear it too much because they are very hard movements to work on if they do break. But you know what? Given the topic we're talking about, I think it pairs perfectly with it. And that's why I'm wearing it. I'm also wearing my Yelis Nadal hat. Um, I don't own any of their watches, but the hat's actually kind of nice. What do you guys think? Uh, enough of that. Let's get into the topic, guys. So two different watches released. First, we're going to be talking about the three-hand, the HMS. This watch is priced at $399, a fantastic price point. The thing I like so much about Ball Tech is they really understand what a watch connoisseur, a real watch geek, is looking for. They understand the size. Uh, the proportions of the watch and everything that really we're looking for, but don't want to spend 10, 15, 50, 60 thousand dollars on. So this watch is a 38 millimeter. It is 12.3 millimeters thick. It's based off a watch they already have, but this collaboration, they're really introducing two things that are unbelievable. And one has to be this dial. It's a salmon dial, really uh, a copper tone to it. And the beautiful texturing of this sector dial is spectacular. I hope other brands pay close attention to this because they absolutely killed it with the detailing of this watch. Unfortunately, there was only 100 pieces made and they are already sold out. I am actually filming this the day it was released. Uh, I went to go buy one and I unfortunately saw that they are gone. It has a beautiful dark blue Cordovan strap that is handmade in Germany. All their watches are actually hand assembled in France, being it's a French company. This particular model we're talking about uses a Miyota 821A movement. It has around a 42 hour power reserve, automatic oscillating weight, and it comes with an acrylic crystal. Very much a vintage inspired watch. Uh, I'm super bummed out that I'm not going to be getting one. I really hope I don't have to see these pop up on eBay going for double the value. I really hope the people that purchase these are going to wear them and enjoy them. Uh, I would hate to have to see a premium on these watches. But then again, I'm just super proud of both Warner and Wound and Bull Tech for absolutely killing it, especially during this uh, market right now with the whole coronavirus thing. I'm happy to see that they sold all 200 watches, releasing them at a very trying time in the world. And next we're going to be talking about the Buy Compact, which is my favorite of the two. I almost purchased one of their original Buy Compact chronographs when they first released them back in 2017, but the combination of their styling now with this salmon dial is just perfect. They're really utilizing the, the difference of textures on this dial. Uh, as you can see from the photos, it just works so well. I love a chronograph without a date. I think sometimes the date, although useful, really throws off the proportions of the watch. This one being the Siegel ST1901, uh, doesn't have a date. It's a manually wound chronograph that they test and calibrate in France. This one is actually a clone off a 1940s Venus 144 or 145 movement. So a very reliable movement that a Chinese company is representing and now made it a much more affordable price point where you can actually get and obtain these amazing vintage inspired chronographs under a thousand dollars. Case measurements are very comparable to the previous one. You have a 38 millimeter case and just slightly thicker than the three hand being it's a chronograph but it's a manually wound so you're not getting that much thickness. This one measures in a 12.6 millimeters thick. Again a dark blue Cordovan strap which complements that copper tone so perfectly well on the dial and it actually is 50 meters water resistant. This one was priced at $600, slightly more than the three hand, but I think justifiable because it is a chronograph and it is a spectacular watch. Strap width on this is 20 millimeters, so it's very interchangeable, different color straps. So I think copper and blue, although goes very well, might be hard to pair with different outfits, but being a 20 millimeter uh, lug width, you're going to be able to swap it out to browns and blacks and whatever is going to work well with your day-to-day -day outfits. Again, 
I wanted to buy this one, sold out, unfortunately, but congrats to all 100 of you that were able to pick one up. Like I said, I really hope I don't see these on eBay going for, you know, $1,500, but again, Big kudos to both brands. Uh, congratulations on this collaboration. I hope to see much more of this in the future. And you know what? Worn and Wound, always releasing unbelievable content. I've been to their Chelsea Market Show in New York City a few times. And I think this is really going to be the future where Houdinki's doing collaborations with really, really big brands. I'd love to see Worn and Wound really capitalize on that micro brand market, which I think is booming right now. I want to see a lot more collaborations. Let me know what you guys think down below. And congratulations to the winners of the 500 giveaway. We are doing a next one at 750. Uh, I will let you guys know what that giveaway prize will be but until next time guys thank you for subscribing thank you for liking the video and uh, i hope you all are staying safe staying healthy and until next time guys take care